Hey, you want to see the fourth generation Acura MDX? It's over there. And Acura wanted me to clarify it's a prototype. Yeah, Acura calls this a prototype. Wink, wink. Prototype label aside, this is basically the 2022 Acura MDX. We've got a few minutes to burn down. Let's use that time to get to know the fourth generation of Acura's three-row midsize premium SUV. Starting with the exterior, my first reaction was like, yeah, that looks like an MDX. But as you look deeper, there's more dynamism to discover. We've got appearances from the requisite Acura jewel-eyed headlights and pentagonal grille. But look at how the diamond pattern reflects light. And notice how the body looks lower and wider? Because it is. There's also heightened visual interest from a lengthier, shapelier hood, sculpted elements that help break up the doors, and a distinct body line that connects the headlights with the taillights. I especially like the rear three-quarter. It's got a simple, striking, powerful quality. Other exterior highlights include 21-inch wheels, an almost three-inch longer wheelbase, tasteful and artfully drawn chrome trim around the greenhouse, and matte liquid carbon paint. I think the new MDX has a handsome shape. What do you think? Move inside and it's clear Acura spent a lot of time classing up the joint. Ooh, leather, stitching, open pour wood that's infused with metal flake. I'm tempted to call this fancy, but I think we might have blasted right past that into sumptuous territory. Pragmatically speaking, the interior is also said to offer improved legroom in all three rows and better headroom in the first and third rows. Let's see how I, a perfectly average 5 foot 10 inch dude, fit inside. In the second row, I have set the front seat for my ideal front seat position, sliding, plenty of clearance, headroom clears, moving to the middle seat. Hey, that's pretty good clearance. I'm going to do the one touch button slide. Can I fit in the third row? Ooh. Oh. Ah, yeah, I do technically fit in the third row. My head is brushing. Maybe put the kids back here. Other notable interior details include 16-way front seats with nine massage modes, a 1,000-watt 25-speaker ELS audio system, a panoramic moonroof for airy vibes, and something called Iconic Drive LED Illumination that emblazons the interior with 27 lighting schemes that represent different driving modes and locations like racetracks and iconic roads. That is a very high concept use of LEDs, which I would demonstrate if the sun weren't currently baking and blinding me. I also need to mention the infotainment system. It's a 12.3 inch unit that uses the same true touchpad interface as found in the Acura RDX. Basically, instead of moving a cursor around, your position on the touchpad represents the position on the screen. Upper left on the pad, upper left on the screen. Acura's placed another 12.3 inch display in front of the driver as the gauge cluster. As for the mechanical stuff, the MDX utilizes a 3.5 liter V6 of unspecified power married to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Acura is also very proud of the fact that the front suspension uses a double wishbone arrangement for sportier handling. It's behind there. Speaking of sportiness, the MDX will also be offered as a racy Type S variant. We'll have to wait to see what the MDX Type S looks like, but we do know it'll feature the same 3-liter turbocharged V6 found in the Acura TLX Type S sedan which in that context makes a healthy 355 horsepower. Naturally, the MDX Type S will dispense its power to all four tires via Acura's super handling all-wheel drive system. And for now, that's pretty much all we know about the upcoming Acura MDX. To me, the Acura MDX prototype looks like a very compelling visual package and it's probably gonna be great to drive. Looks like a reasonable interior setup. So yeah, I'm looking forward to its arrival in 2021. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs>